welcome to Kimi Poppy channel. Today, I'm going to tell you all about toxins. Disclaimer, I'm not an expert in this field. I only did some research and I think I have not yet found a video on YouTube with a detailed discussion about size, coat, color, and patterns of toxins. Well, at first I just want to share a little disclaimer as well for this channel. Let me just clear that we are not using our dogs for our own benefit. Honestly, I don't have a plan of making a YouTube channel. It just so happened that I love taking videos and editing. That's why I filmed this video of you set and never thought it'll reach this much view and the channel got monetized. I just uploaded it plainly for information about Dakshan giving birth. Anyway, so that's it and we just love them plainly and are also mesmerized daily by their cuteness and maybe we could share it with all of you guys. So let's start. Dachshunds rank among the most popular dog breeds and can be easily identified by their long but low-legged body structure, like a hot dog, which gave them the other names like sausage dog, whiner dogs, and the like. They are very alert and lively and comes with a lot of varieties which suits many. Now let's differentiate each type of Dachshund by the size, coat, color, and pattern. There are two sizes of Dachshund. One is the standard which weighs about 16 to 32 pounds or 17 to 15 kilograms and has a height of 8 to 9 inches. Then the miniature one which weighs 11 pounds below and stands 5 to 6 inches. These are our dogs. She is Punchel or Rapunzel. She is a standard Dachshund. She is also a long-haired Dachshund and a piebald Dachshund. And this one is Barbie. She is a miniature Dachshund. When it comes to coat, Dachshunds are identified either as smooth-haired, long-haired, or wire-haired. With these pictures, we can easily identify their coats. Let me introduce to you some of our dogs. A while ago, I introduced to you Punchel. She is a semi-long-haired dog. Not just like this one, which is a full long-haired dog. This one is white me. She is a smooth hair Dachshund. You can see the difference with their hair. Now let's move to the most varied characteristics, their color and pattern. The two most common colors are red and black. Oftentimes you hear people referring to a red Dachshund as brown. In the Dachshund breed, it is called red and never should be referred to as brown. Red dogs will always have a black nose as well as black nails. Black has two kinds, black tan and black cream, depending on the masking in their snout, like this. Speaking of cream, a cream color is a diluted version from any other color aside from black and chocolate. So let's not talk about genetics here. Creams can only come in smooth and long-haired coats. The last most common color is chocolate, which comes with a chocotan or choco cream color, also depending on the masking of the snout. The rare colors are fawn and tan, also called Isabella, and blue, not gray, and the all black color. Beware of the white ductions because generally they are the ones with effect because they came from a double-double pattern which we'll discuss later. We are down to our last category, the patterns. It's basically how the colors will appear in what shape, size, or just simply pattern. Ductions can be in pure, brindle, dapple, double dapple, or piebald in pattern. It's easily to spot up your duction, so let's keep it and go to the next. Next, we have the brindle, a coat pattern also known as tiger striping. And you know what it means when you see these pictures. Tapos, however, also have two distinct colors, but in an irregular shaped circular pattern, like this. And usually, they don't have white colors around them. They can come as choco dapple or silver dapple. Unlike this one, which is commonly referred to as Merle, they are double pattern with white sides, and they are called a double dapple. Double dapple puppies will always have white markings. 
A double double duction usually has blue eyes but may have one or both dark eyes. There are risks in the health of a double double. The problems associated with the little genes in double doubles are varying degrees of vision, hearing loss, missing eyes, or micro eyes caused by the double double gene combination. Pybald they say is the rarest pattern in ductions. Pybaldism is a recessive trait. Therefore, both parents must carry the recessive gene for there to be a chance that they will produce a piebald font. Regular piebald should show up to 80% of white on the coat. For us, we chose them because our family has a sort of asthma and allergic rhinitis, which means that we cannot take in pets that are very furry. In case of toxins, they are perfect for us. Also, we have a small house that's why their cute size fits well. They also have locus maintenance and have 12 to 16 years of life. Lastly, their lively attitude brings joy and is stressed in the family. So that's it. Thank you for watching and see you on our next video. Keep spreading dog love.